Hey guys, first things first, I'd like to say thank you for the last video on this. As of today, it has 340,000 views, 3,000 likes, and 200 dislikes. The 200 dislikes are people who didn't try it, didn't listen to me, or just did it wrong. Because it's really plain, straight, forward. It's really simple how to do, and just makes your games work so much faster. First things first, this works on the Xbox One and the Xbox One S. It doesn't matter which one it is. I personally have tried both. I have the one, the original one, the day one edition. My girlfriend has the original, or not the original, the S, and my uncle has just the normal Xbox One. I have the day one, he has a normal one, and she has an S. It works on all of these. A lot of people left that in the comments wondering. It's the same thing, guys. It's no different. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, this only works on Xbox One games that are on disc. It does not work for digital games. If you want to know how to download digital digital games faster, all you have to do is close out all your apps. If you close out all your apps, it will download a lot faster. But this is an actual method to make it go way, way faster than the other one. So it's Xbox One disc only. The 360 or the backwards compatible discs do not work on this because those need to be downloaded from online which doesn't work unless you do the close all the app method. It's the same thing as a digital disc. All right, and to make this video for you guys, I deleted a game. That's why you're wondering Doom's not a new game. I deleted this because I don't have any disc games right now to make this, but I needed to make an update video for this. This is still working and it's still unpatched. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I just need to get it out there. This is not patched, this will not be patched. If it does, I will remove the video, guys. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. So if you have the download already going, you need to cancel it. You don't pause it, you have to cancel it. I'm sorry if you guys are like on 40% and it took you about three hours to get the 40% and you don't wanna cancel it. It's gonna be worth it, guys. If you cancel it, you can download the game in about 20 minutes, the whole game. You'll pass that, fly past every, but if you don't believe me, Check out the comments in the old video to this. There's thousands of people saying it worked. There's like 20 people that said it didn't work. That's because they didn't listen. And either way, if you do this with or without, you're gonna have to get the update. You can download it online and then you're gonna get the update for the game and then you're gonna have to download it after, it's gonna take a long time. Or you can do this method, then after the game's downloaded, then you can update it, which will be a lot faster than having to go through the whole thing at once. All right, so the steps are really easy. First things first, you go down to settings. Once you're in the settings, you go to all settings, pull it up, wait for the load, go down to network, network settings, and hit go offline. And after you hit offline, that's basically it. All you do is you put the disc in. And now once you put the disc in and it's offline, it's gonna be downloading the game off the disc instead of off from the Xbox Live network, which sounds pretty weird because you're putting the disc in anyways, but there is a system set up inside the Xbox One or a program that when you buy a disc, it puts it in and it downloads it off the disc. That way if you buy a disc and it's all scratched up and everything, you can put it in and still play the game and the game still works. If you have a pretty scratched up get disc and you try to do this, it's gonna tell you it's not gonna work and you're gonna have to download it the original way. But this will allow you to skip the process of downloading the game from online and just off the disc that is in your Xbox, which will allow it to download a lot, a lot faster. Like Grand Theft Auto 5, I did that with this at the original time when it first came out and it took me about eight hours to download. And I was like, no, screw that. It's not worth that. So I tried this and I got it in no joke, maybe 27 minutes. I think that's what it was. I timed it either 27 or 37. 10 minutes different isn't a big deal between eight hours. The reason I know it would have been eight hours because my uncle used the disc and I used it straight off the, or I used the disc, my uncle used it straight off the console. We were in the same house on the same Wi-Fi, like right by each other on the consoles. So that's like as straightforward testing as you can get guys. I tested it by myself. I know this works. I promise you it will. It works for every game on it that's an Xbox One disc. The only one that I've ever heard anybody having problems with, and it wasn't for me, was the Modern Warfare Remastered. Is that would fuck it up. If you had the disc that had the Infinite Warfare and the Modern Warfare Remastered, which was only a special edition disc or something, it would mess it up because it would try to download one of them from online and one of them from offline, and it would fuck up this. But that was the only game that has ever done this. 
like I said, if this does get patched, I will remove it. Just within the time of me talking, it's already at 5%, and you can see the steady download on this of how much faster it is. It's going to make your guys' lives a lot easier. If it worked for you guys, please drop a like, share it with some friends, send it on Facebook, send it text so that people can see this. Subscribe for more random stuff like this because I have a lot of stuff that will make your life easier coming up on my channel. And yeah, guys, if you guys need any help, hit me up on Twitter or in the comments. I'll be happy to respond. I'll try to respond to as much as you guys as I can as soon as possible. Sometimes I can't respond to you guys right away, but usually there's somebody else in the comments who can help you. So thank you guys. Just within me talking, it's already gone up to 5 to 7. So if I look over right now, within the time me editing this video, the game's on 52. So that's about 10 minutes and the game's on 52. It's so much faster doing this guys it's going to blow you guys away so if it did work for you hit a like leave a comment saying it worked and subscribe for more guys that's out that's really all i can say thanks for watching